Hello there, everyone. Eric here. And today, I'd like to go with you on a little journey into the use of augmented reality and how it could enhance your textbooks for learning purposes. And today, we're going to be using a tool called Lyar. This is what the uh, application logo looks like. And we're using the site in liar.com slash creator. Now I've already created a few campaigns here. Campaigns are divided into your, your activities because this is mainly used for print media, newspapers and magazines, billboards, things like that. So we're taking this activity, if you've never seen augmented reality before, it's basically uh, using cues in the world, usually a marker or some sort of image to trigger some other sort of media, a video, um, or some audio, some uh, interactive HTML and things like that. So you can uh, might be able to imagine some of the great uses this could have for learning in textbooks. So what I have here is two projects, campaigns that uh, I'm working on now, one's Travel English and one's One with English. And just to give you an idea of what this is and how what, how it works, I'm just going to go into one of these campaigns here, Travel English, and show you a little bit about what uh, you can do in these type of environments. Okay, so what I've done is I've gone into my Travel English campaign here, and uh, this is a page that I took right out of the textbook I've created, Travel English, and uh, I use the PDF and ported it out into an image and this whole page now has now become a trigger image and uh, the language in the actual creator itself is a little bit confusing because you can use these as a page but pages are actually considered individual images so for example this page has several images in itself so I, you can use the whole page as a trigger in which case when you're targeting the uh, image you want to get the whole page into view of your camera phone to snag or use that image as a marker. Or you can use these individual pictures and then they'll become individual pages in your campaign. Now for this, I'm just going to show you what this might look like. So what I've done here is this is just what the page looked like before. And I added some elements in here triggered by different parts of the page. And I played as you may see how there's some white space here. This is a list of vocabulary. And uh, this is a dialogue that me and, uh, in this case, Yumi, is going through the first time. And now I'm going to just, just try to display. I don't know how well this is going to come through here. But it looks something a little bit like this. Now this, is a, now this image up top has become a carousel image. So you can swipe through these back and forth here. And now these the vocabulary I put in as a Quizlet uh, HTML5 uh, but that's not... content. So, so now you can listen to each of these or you can go through them. Name. Eric. You can listen to the whole thing. I put in a link here. It says listen down on the bottom here. Hello. Those are all buttons now. I'm Eric Hawkinson. And you can listen to the dialogue. I'm from Arizona. And you can go through the dialogue steps by switching back How and forth here. There's also buttons in here Hello. to I'm take you to Takamoto. a Facebook group I'm talking about Kyoto. this particular page. I'm Japanese. Uh, a quiz a that's located Thank on you. a website that I created as a companion to this textbook. Nice to meet you, Ms. Tuckum. So that's going from this whole image here and then turning it into an interactive portion on your smartphone or tablet. So, so this is just one of the tools, one of the ways that uh, we can use these augmented reality applications to enhance our textbooks. And uh, I have a lot of other ideas that I'm working with. I'm going to be testing these out in two of my classes, 
in higher education uh, th through this year. So if you want to keep up on the progress of these projects and uh, keep up with uh, the subsequent videos that are going to be coming out about augmented reality apps, just go ahead and like or subscribe to this channel. And uh, thanks for watching, and uh, that's Enhance of Textbooks.